Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we finally sort of kind of finished up the mining outpost. I'm saying it's done. I don't know 100% that it's done, but, uh, you know, we're just going to go ahead and say it's done because, well, at this point, yes, I could add a lot of stuff to it. I probably can make it a whole lot better than it is, but, you know, I just kind of feel like it's close enough that we can go ahead and really just call it done for now. So, for today's episode, we're going to be crossing something else off the list. I kind of talked about it in the last one. I've kind of talked about it here and there before. What I'm going to do is set up somewhere to kind of, oh, I don't know, keep some of this stuff in line. And by this stuff, I mean all the random dinosaurs walking around. It's been kind of fun having them just walk around, and I certainly don't regret that decision. But, you know... I think we're at the point now where it's time to go ahead and rein them in a little bit. They have had quite the run of the place, and uh, like I said, I don't regret that. Not at all. But I really do think it's time to maybe just calm things a little bit. You know, this is going to end up with some wasted space over here if I do this. Um, why don't we go ahead and, you know what, let's cancel that. I'm kind of doing this as I go if it's not 100% obvious, but... I think this is going to be kind of a mm, important change to make. So, you know, I'll just kind of figure it out as I go. That'll look just fine. I wasn't actually planning to go right there, but um, sure, that's going to be fine. Because what we're going to do is build a little pen over here that is going to be for all of the dilos. At the very least, all of the dilos anyway. Uh, let's see, we can do another one right there there. Where do I want the door to be? Kind of like the idea of the door on this. Well, no, I guess I'm okay with the door right here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and craft up a door frame. So we're going to take care of some other stuff today too. And uh, as soon as I pop this door frame down, maybe we'll go ahead and take care of one of those other items. I'm not going to be able to pop it down there, am I? No, I'm not. Uh, because I didn't put the other frame down. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't do that. Sorry. I'm clearly not mm, ooh that's not even lined up yeah i'm not um not at my best today apparently but that's okay i think we'll survive i'm just going to go ahead and say we will and we'll hope oh this is not going to work at all is it i didn't do this right ah oh, bummer yeah this needs to go that's not going to work at all cuz that needs to go out at least that far um you know what? I'm just going to say that looks perfect. So much of this place is just put together with, I don't know, spit and glue that, uh, you know, that's just going to look fine. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and take care of one of those other things, though. I said we have some other stuff to take care of, and I do have a little bit of news to share with you, as well as some future plans, because I am nothing if not constantly scheming and planning. So we're going to go ahead and take care of one half of one question over here. We have some dire wolves, and uh, we need to go ahead and take care of them. We have a cat we need to take care of. Technically, we have a gigantopithecus we need to take care of, and when I'm saying all of that, I mean we actually need to take care of names for them. Sorry about that. I had just a moment there where uh, things were going funny on me. I don't know. It, I think, was probably something I did not not the game to blame on that one. Anyway, let's go ahead and name them. No, I don't want to access your inventory. I would actually like to change your name. You are going to be Yin. Nope. I did that backwards. Hold on. Sorry. You are Yang. And you are going to be Yin, obviously. I mean, come on. So here we have Yin and Yang. Yin, of course, being the female, and Yang, of course, being the male. We're going to go ahead and level them up, too, just to see where they're at. 1,500 hit points, or health. I always say hit points, and it's health. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just weird. Okay, so here's the other thing I want to kind of share with you that leads into some future planning. So here we have this saber tooth. Now, notice I put a saddle on him. He didn't have a saddle recently, but he's all saddled up. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so that guy is level 19. We still haven't named him. This, of course, was the progeny of, I believe, Shadow... No, not Shadow. Uh, Scratchy and Star. There they are. Now, you've probably seen, as I've been running by, that, yes, they have some 
brand spanking new saddles. They're all jazzy and colored too, because uh, I was nice that way and decided to give them colored saddles. And they're actually slightly better quality saddles too, because they were just things that I kind of found in in drops along the way. And I think maybe uh, Mr. Whiskers over here. No, his is pretty good too. This is actually maybe better than some of the others. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm not talking about them for right now because you might have already noticed right over here, we have another cat. Um, haven't named her yet. And in fact, let's go ahead and level her up. 908.7 health and she's going to blast up to, if I remember right, somewhere around high 1000s. Oh, look at that. She actually cracked 1100. So she gets just about 200 health per level. That is a good thing, because this is going to be the new breeding cat. She's going to be the new queen. Now, obviously, I'd like to get her some additional levels before she's really ready to breed. And, additionally, need to get a high-level male. But, um, you know, that's, that's okay. We'll worry about that one. Now, just as I get back to some of the building here, I'll tell you how I got that new female. And that was by way of using the taming pen over here. This good old-fashioned taming pen, the metal, not metal, uh, rock foundation, rock, stone, stone, whatever it is, rock, stone, metal, something or other. That thingy on the other side of the wall thingy, majigger type thing. Yeah, that's actually what I used. It worked out pretty well. So I grabbed that cat with Big Bird over here, and I picked her up, and I dropped her right in there, and then I shot her with a couple of bolts, and uh, she was good to go, just like that. Now, the reason I did that off camera is because, well, I wasn't able to record in that moment and wasn't planning on recording. That's really what it comes down to more than anything else. I just wasn't planning on recording at that time, so I did not. But it was also a bit of a test because in the last patch, the mm, two, oh, I don't know, what version are we on these days? I don't even remember. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't say on here. Whatever version we're on, that last major-ish version, I believe, added the ability to pick up cats with birds. Pretty awesome, because I can remember being really upset, oh, sometime in the past, that I couldn't pick up a cat with a bird. I mean, you know, I could pick up all these other things, but I couldn't pick up a cat, and what I really just wanted was a cat. But, like I said, couldn't pick it up, so it didn't work. Yeah, they added that functionality, and I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. It was... I don't want to necessarily say it was overdue, because I'm sure there was some sort of reason behind why you couldn't do that. And, um... I don't claim to know better than the devs, and I'm not going to say what they did was wrong or that this is a fix or anything along those lines. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to say thank you because it was an awesome, awesome addition. Now, I have intentionally created this thing too wide, one, because it fits in the space, and two, because I want to somewhat promote the ability of these particular dinosaurs, all of these random dilos who are all wandering around. I want to give them the ability to probably mate. So that's four of them so far. That's five. That's six. I don't honestly know how many dilos are out here. That's seven. I think that's all of them. I mean, I sometimes just pick them up at random. So I think that's it. I think seven is the count. So let's go ahead and wander back over here. And we're just going to let the Dilos all wander through the gate. With any luck, they fit. Yep, look at that, they fit. I had a I had a moment where I was kind of picturing them like Mr. Burns and all of his diseases. And they weren't going to be able to fit through. Because they all just kind of crammed up the doorway. But nope, no problem. And I figure, you know, while they're all standing here smiling, might as well level them up just for kicks. You know, why not? They actually have a fair amount of health. I'm kind of surprised by that. I mean, that's usually what I just do is I just slam health on them just because they're not really going to go out and fight. But if I were to take them out and fight, well, maybe that wouldn't be such a bad thing to have, you know, some additional health. Wow, not too shabby. I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty pleased with these guys here, these guys and girls. They're looking, they're not looking too bad. Oh, look at that. Riptor is actually pretty close to a thousand hit points. Okay, a thousand health. I keep saying hit points. I said that earlier. Man, what is wrong with me? I don't know. I'm defective. What can I say? This isn't going to work. I'm not going to get all of them in one fell swoop. It's not going to happen because now we have a Mr. Burn situation. 
One fit through. Who, buddy? Good job, buddy. You made it in. You can stop right there, buddy. Good job. All right, someone else made it in. Ronnie! Oh, my good friend, Ronnie. I am so happy Ronnie made it inside. Miss and Dilophosaurus, who has not yet been named. You guys made it in. Good job. Let's go find these other ones. Come on, guys. Come on over here. No, no, no. Don't leave. Don't. Don't leave. I'm closing the door on you. Okay. This is the other reason Big Bird is over here. I feel like I'm still missing one. Is there still one stuck over here? Yeah, Riptor. Come on, buddy. I know you're feeling a little skittish, but I want you to come over here. All right. Because it's going to be so much easier to do this, we're just going to go ahead and fill this up with Dilos. And like I said, it's going to be a sort of taming pen scenario here because they're... Well, because that little building is on the small side, so I kind of like that. I, I think that might end up working out well, except I am apparently incapable of picking up all of my Dilos. Let's try again. Okay. Oh, Chip, I almost missed with you. That would have been bad. Tinkerbell, come back. Come on, Tink. Uh-oh, I missed. Let's try it again. Tink. I am so bad at this. I don't know why. I just am. I, I, I need to practice that or something, apparently. There we go. All right, so everyone is inside. Let's go ahead and land Big Bird. You can just chill right there, buddy. You're good. We have a bunch of guys, not too many actually, on Wander at this point. So Gigantopithecus, I think you're the only one on Wander at this point. Everyone else has been kind of roped off, so to speak. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look here. I just want to see how the pen is doing. We can just watch them for a minute and be kind of voyeurs. Can I, can I see what's going on in here? I can't really see what's going on in here. All right. I have a solution to that. Champ, come with me. Champ is going to help me out here. Now, Champ still is, um, we'll say, a work in progress. I, I clearly haven't touched his platform since I said I would fix his platform. And, man, he's stuck on Big Bird. There we go. Let's turn him around so we can actually get over here and see. Not that it's really vitally important to see what's going on inside, but... I would kind of like to see what's going on. Hey, put your head down, buddy. I can't see when you do that. Well, I can't climb up your neck and stand on your head. That's actually what I wanted to do. No? You don't want to do that? All right, well, that's fine. I'm stuck. Man, I keep getting stuck. What's up with that? Oh, look at that. He's just... <laughs> Champ is doing the Captain Morgan thing. Ah, Champ, you're funny. Just going to help myself inside here. Okay, so I need to do one last thing before these... Dilos are good to go. And it's actually going to work out well, I think, in general. So let's go ahead and close that off. And, oh, you're... Yeah, it's going to fit. No problem. No problem. What am I talking about? I am, of course, talking about a feeding trough. So what do I need for that? I need... Oh, you know what? I bet I don't have a bunch of metal. Hmm... Wood won't be a problem. I don't have metal because all of my stuff has been processed. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Well, maybe I'll, I'll plant a trough on my own time. Let's just, um, let's just double check in here because I'm usually pretty good about turning this stuff into ingots as soon as I can. Yep, I have turned everything into ingots. I don't have any spare metal lying around. At least I'm fairly certain I don't. I mean, uh, Big Bird, you don't have anything on you. No, you sure don't. Okay, well, that's okay. I think we took care of one thing for the day, at least. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the Dilo pen, which is something I, I believe I've mentioned, and if not, well, there you go, has been on my to-do list. So I'm glad to have taken care of that. We're just going to run in here because I see some hearts up there, and I just, I'm curious if they're going to be able to mate or not. Eh, they probably won't. They're going to wander around a little more. And chances are, because I have given them so much space, even though it's not very wide, I suspect they're not going to mate very often. But the good thing about that is it's not too far to just throw them inside the taming pen or the mating pen over there. That'll be pretty easy to do if I really need any more 
dial of eggs to hatch, even though I'm not convinced that's the case. And yes, I'm just kind of sticking around to see if maybe they'll end up kind of mating. I, I just, you know, what the heck? I'm going to be nosy that way. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you're about halfway. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode right there. Next episode is going to be looking at maybe starting a new project, which is actually... I don't know that it's necessary for another project, but um, it's something I've been meaning to look at for a while now, too. So I'm pretty excited to start that up. I'm feeling pretty good about the little Dilo pen and Buddy and Riptor are just kind of getting friendly and all that good stuff. So I will catch you on another time in Champ here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and back him up so he's feeling, feeling a little more uh, comfortable about how he's standing. But gonna have to call it an episode so i will catch you on the next one so till then thanks for watching see you later